Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix need for speed heat not launching. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So in this video, I'm going to show you different ways on how you can possibly fix the error. So first, what you can do is to just launch the launcher as, a, as an administrator. So first, you should try this and then... The windows will allow the launcher program and the game files to run properly and not running the game on client or client as administrator you may find it pretty difficult to avoid crashes or dot launching issues that require the uac or the user account control access so ensure to follow the steps right here to do that so first right click on to the steam slash epic launcher exe shortcut file on your pc and just select the properties and click on to the compatibility tab so here is the compatibility tab as shown in the photo and then make sure to click on to the run this program as administrator checkbox to check mark it and after that click apply and select ok to ch save the changes and now you can just double click on the game exe file to launch it and that's it for the first fix and then next is to update graphics drivers so make sure to update your graphics driver on the pc because an outdated gpu driver can or may trigger multiple issues with the same launching so you should try checking the graphics driver update and installing it if it is available so to do it or to do that you can just go ahead and follow this steps right here so first right click on to the start menu to open the quick access menu and click on to the device managers from the list to open the interface and now you'll need to double click onto the display adapters to expand it and just right click onto the dedicated graphics card that's active and right click on to the update driver and choose search automatically for for drivers and the system will automatically check for the available updates and an update will automatically be downloaded and install the latest version if available and once done make sure to restart your pc to apply the changes and if you can find any update you can go to the official graphics card website and manually search for the update and and next what you can do is to end the background processes so make sure to end the background processes on your system because unnecessary tasks can easily trouble the resource hungry applications to run properly so in case your system becomes laggy or slow the system resources are getting low at that moment so to remove unwanted processes just press ctrl plus shift in the skip shortcut keys on the keyboard to open your task manager and click on to the processes tab to, and then make sure to select the task that you want to close individually and then click on to the end task right here as you can see in the photo to close it and as mentioned to do the same step for each task that you want to close and once done close the task manager window and restart your PC. And so that's it for this video. Remember, you can always pause this video or go back to the video and follow the steps at your own time. And I hope this helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.